just Mark just said we are the winners of the uh, Big Data Hackathon. Uh, it's a great experience. We are proud to be here to present this to you today. Uh, so I'm just going to jump right in and show you actually what we built and how we did it, and then we're going to elaborate a little bit on who we are and how we work together. The project we made is called Smart Energy Renovation, and basically, before we went into the whole challenge, we kind of wanted to decide which focuses we wanted to sort of aim towards. And one of the main focuses was to assist the Vitorbeck municipality in the vision of getting a more green profile. Uh, and another focus was to you know, use the theories behind using and utilization of big data. After all, it is a big data hackathon, so we have to use it in the entire process. Um, and then we also want to focus a lot on having a commercial potential with the product we came up with. So that was a huge focus we wanted to uh, aim for. And then obviously to have a positive environmental impact. <coughs> so what did we actually make? Um, essentially, we made a web tool that made it possible for Rupertorbic municipality to quickly spot non-sustainable public uh, buildings <coughs> and real estate and range on three different criteria. And the three different criteria is whether or not if they wanted to focus on where they could save the most CO2 usage in an entire year, or the, another criteria would be how much money they could save if they wanted to renovate it. And the third criteria would be if they had to renovate it, how much money could they save if they used solar panels. And <coughs> last, yeah, so the data sets we used, uh, we mainly used these three data sets. First, we used uh, some heat emission maps that LinkedIn Topic already made for another project, publicly available. Then we used uh, the Danish high carbon, which is uh, a, a height of, the, all of Denmark for each 1.5 meters. And then we used the uh, property data of the Topic properties, so addresses, uh, current energy consumption, and such. And we combined these three data sources into our solution that we'll see in just a minute. Okay. Yeah, and so just to see how we use it. So, example this house in not of the right, to the bottom left we see the heat emissions. So from that we estimated the current insulation <coughs> in order to calculate how much energy could be saved if we insulated to modern standards. From the height map uh, to the bottom right, we used to estimate the uh, angle and orientation of the roof of the houses in order to estimate how much energy could be uh, gained from uh, installing solar panels. So, one of the main value propositions we wanted to focus on is to, you know, give the Limitorbic municipality an overview of the green opportunities they have within the municipality. Uh, so, one of the main value propositions that are two like to target was obviously to target the public entities of, for instance, the municipalities. And just to give you a quick demonstration of what we actually made, Benjamin will take it away. <laughs> yep. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show uh, the app that we uh, built. And um, so, let's say that I am, for example, a big um, talk with Kumun, and I want to find out. Um, yeah, it's, it doesn't look perfect, <laughs> but it's still a prototype. But and I want to find out where I can save the most money if I installed, um, uh, if I insulated the roof and I also installed solar panels. So I'll go into say uh, how much I can save, um, and then I can see that this house, uh, is, that's, is the one I can save the most from. It's seventy-two thousand um, kronas a year that I can save from this house. But also, I can get an overview of uh, the municipality and see in what areas can I save uh, a lot of money. So, for example, this area, there's uh, some houses that definitely need uh, renovations where I can save a lot of money. And also, let me see if I can click this. Yep. <laughs> I, can, uh, I can go in and I can see, well, the house that uh, has the most savings on uh, is here. And I can see further... Um, info about the house if I kind of want to investigate for myself um, why we got uh, to the number that we uh, got to. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, Usually it looks better in a bigger resolution. Or higher <laughs> Still the prototype. <laughs>
Okay, so um, that was one thing. Let me decide. Well, looking ahead, this is one thing. Going ahead to you know to the public, or the public entities and municipalities. We're also thinking who else might benefit from this tool. So we wanted to think about this, and what we actually came up with is the tool could also you know benefit of people, private entities could use it to identify investment opportunities. So, so let's say real estate investment firms, financing firms could use it, uh, and more. Retail pub, uh, private companies such as you know Rockwell or Craftsmanship or Do It Yourself Store, they could actually use it to actually spot potential customers. Um, they could go right ahead and say, okay, this house needs some restoration, and we could actually phone up the customer and give it an offer. So that was actually one of uh, the commercial potentials we actually found out that we got. So a lead generator, that was actually quite surprising, really good. Um, so we had the idea, and we also you know aimed at getting a some customer confirmation. So what we actually did was phoning out all these different companies to actually hear whether or not they would be interested in using a tool like this. Uh, so we phoned up Yodan, Ruggle, and a few others, uh, and we got some positive feedback. It was really great. Um, overall, they had a, thought the tool was interesting. Uh, obviously, a thermographic card is not something new, but the way that we combined it, that you know. They can see a direct YouTube uh, saving and uh, direct monetary savings made the tool really interesting for them. Rockwell, however, they obviously wouldn't use it for themselves, but all the partnerships would probably be interested in it. So, a quick wrap up, I know this went past fairly quickly maybe. A quick wrap up is that did we hit the mission to help bring Torbay to get a greener profile? We think so, we think our idea actually helped them a lot, and so did they, so we have to about that. Uh, is our tool executable? Um, we built it in 36 hours, so we think it's very executable. Is it scalable? Well, we think so. I mean, we got some positive customer confirmation from the private uh, commercial life, uh, so we think it's scalable besides, you know, from the public entities, we also go to the private entities. And can it be used elsewhere than the Vitalik Kumun? Or uh, you live in Tolkien municipality, we would certainly think so. It's just a matter of data if we can get the right data. Uh, does it have a commercial potential? <coughs> well, the answer kind of answer itself. Yes, we think so. Obviously, we will have a few feedbacks for a few customers, but none of this it was positive. So, based on that, we might say they have a commercial potential. <coughs> Overview of the data references that we used. These were the ones. Uh, we only built this thing in 36 hours, so we were in quite a rush. It was 36 hours of lunch, started working two hours of sleep. It was great fun. And <laughs> then I remember a little about regarding the process of the whole hackathon and the experience we got from it. How did we meet? It's actually a rather fun question because someone was new to other and some other ones knew some other ones and no one actually knew all of us together. We just kind of randomly met through each other. And as you can see, I'm, I'm the only CDS student among class in CUs. Um, but we have, well, a certain good mix of technical skills and we all, I mean, I have to, I mean, I'm an undercover web enthusiast, probably, I should probably have went to DTU, but now I see this, and that's the way it is. <laughs> um, but as you can see, this is our background. Um, and how did we get the idea? Put it quickly, we put a lot of brainstorming into it. We met up one day and said, okay, listen, this is going to be the hackathon, this challenge, and we mapped out different ideas, and then we kind of made competence mapping of, okay, which competences do we actually have here in this group? And we went all around the board, and we just came up with all these ideas, and basically we just mapped down which one hits the, you know, the criteria of the, of the judges the best. And the idea we came up with was the one we went for. And the experiences that we got from working together. Um, I would say, I mean, the mixture of our skills and insight and competencies can make a, you know, a fierce cocktail. <laughs> uh, I would say that we all, none of us were actually in doubt of what we wanted to do or what we had to do. Everybody had their own assigned task and everybody just went for it. And the minute somebody had a problem or was, got stuck, that, you know, just the opportunity to be able to ask someone else, hey, how should I do this and how should I do that, and get the insight from another perspective was really valuable. I mean, that was, that was my case. Um, so that's uh, definitely one of the most valuable experience we've got. So to put it in other words, to put it in the CBS kind of way, we got a positive <laughs> synergy saying we got 2 by 2 equals 5. Uh, and that is basically how to round it up and say, 
that's what we got from working together. You know? We learn from each other, we learn to think different ways, and just the mix of competences was just, you know, just made a really great deal. Yeah, that was basically all we had to do. Any of you guys want to elaborate on this? I mean, I'm the only CBS guy on the team. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, did any of you guys learn anything from me? I mean, I learned Please say yes. <laughs> Presentation skills. <laughs> yeah, basically, it was just, you know, we learned a lot. I mean, this is my first hackathon. I think this is everybody's new first hackathon, right? And, uh, that's a great you know, experience and we're probably going to go for another one again. So at least I will try to go for another one.